Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Uh, today we got two loads we're gonna run. Two again today. And uh, we're gonna go, where do we go? I don't remember where we, where we go. Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we got two loads to run. Yes, two more again today. Uh, we go to Muscatine and then we go, go to Fort, Fort Dodge. And um, today what I wanna know guys, is I know I have a lot of you guys who come back for every single video. And I wanna say thank you. And of course I want some comments, but if I'm being honest, but I, I wanna know who you are so I can say thank you. Who comes back for every video? Let me know and stay tuned for some trekking. this morning good morning muscatine iowa eight something in the morning eight four eight four made it all the way without dropping anything there's no trucks in here we should be in and out pretty good this morning which is which is great I might be early to my house later on, but for my appointment, appointment, my uh, HVAC guy meeting, whatever. But that's good. We might record a video for next week. I got a few of them I need to record. I like to scoot over to this side. Get straight here. All right, this is where we're gonna be for the next 45 minutes, probably. Oh, we got out of there. Uh, didn't record a lot there at the end of the, the, the delivery, because. I edited yesterday's video and I was rendering it and it won't let me do anything on my phone until it's finished rendering and it took extra long because I had to do it twice because the first time it decided to switch my uh, first my intro video and flip it like it wasn't recorded upside down I didn't edit it it just switched it when they went when I went to render it you guys ever picked up here Flat butters out there. Gerdau plant. Here in Wilton. There's actually a, a pipe plant over here too. Plastic pipe. I haven't picked up pipe, but I have picked up steel here multiple times. Tarped. At the time it was paying pretty pretty good then it, it fell off it, it doesn't make crap now but that's just like everything else looks like we're heading back into our storm but we should get out of it 
I was hoping it would clean off more of the bugs off my truck, but no such luck. So the plan for today. So we're headed back to the yard, of course, and we already have assigned to us a uh, Ford Dodge. So we're gonna grab our Ford Dodge, and I need to see what time it is. Um, at any rate, I'm gonna go to my house. I haven't decided if I'm going to attempt to pull in right now, because it's wet. I have not driven in there right after it rained. And I really don't want to get stuck. So, we will see how it goes. We will see how it grows. I really need to get some more gravel in there. Not looking forward to that, but. That'll be a project coming up on a Saturday, forthcoming. Probably after we actually move. Okay, this is, I hate this trailer for so many reasons, but one of which is it's, it's just really bouncy because it's, well, it's spring ride and it's old and it just sits there and shakes you when it's empty. Anyway, that's the plan. Grab our trailer, go to the house, meet with the HVAC guy, and then head up to Port Dodge. It should be a pretty good day. It should uh, 230 something. Total loaded miles, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, at this point I'm not in any rush because I'm way early for meeting my my guy. It's gonna take well I guess it's a good chance for me to time how long it takes for me to get to my new house. Oh, double check that I got the right trailer. I did. I've already checked the product. It says Fort Dodge, but can't be too careful. So yeah, we got one item checked off the list. We got our trailer. It's a good trailer. I'm happy about that. It's loaded well. And it's 12463, so it's a one of our newer trailers. I don't know. I just feel like less of a target for a DOT inspection when I'm pulling a trailer like this. As opposed to like the red trailers or the yellow trailer that I pulled this morning. doing on get pulled up right out we might actually make it we are gonna make it look at that it's a good time of the day for this huh in an hour it won't be because it'll be lunchtime I'm gonna get to chill a little bit because there's not a lot I can do in the house right now without my stuff I need to work on a video, at least one video. That's a gravel spitting up. It is raining again done a lot of that recently. I need to go make sure my basement isn't flooded. The 
the sump pump isn't working. So that's something I gotta work on. Maybe I'll putz with that a little bit. I don't have things to fix it though, so. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, I'll pick you back, back up when we go past JBS to see if there's any trucks that we might wanna see. Yeah, will we see any cool trucks? We probably will. We already did actually, we saw a Reese truck. Out today, you can't really see them very well except from the other direction. You guys can watch my mirrors there, or not? Maybe you get a glimpse of something. Oh, yeah, there's some trucks. There's some trucks. This, this uh, truck route around Marshalltown makes things much easier than having to turn on to third. <laughs> the way we used to, much easier. All right, let's get to my house. Well, it's like <laughs> three hours later. <laughs> uh, it's after three o'clock right now, it's like 3.15. 3.15 is when I told them I would be in Menards in uh, Fort Dodge. So they're not gonna be real happy with me. I might give them a call in a second and uh, let them know. But yeah, we just left the house. Uh, while I was waiting, I recorded a video. We waiting for that next week. It's a uh, um, sort of my store, my truck story, and the suggestions for purchasing your first truck. Um, so that, that should be a good video. It's mostly just a talking video. Um, it, it is basically all just talking video. But hopefully it's helpful and interesting. Tell some stories about some trucks. Tell some, uh, some, some do's and don'ts. A lot of don'ts. <laughs> but... We're gonna have a late one on our hands today. We're gonna be, we'll probably be, be 4.30 before we get up there. Probably be after five when we leave. So I won't be back at the house until 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight probably. All said and done, because I need to get fuel on the way back. And uh, well, I got a Spencer for tomorrow, so that's nice. I should have done a Spencer today. Hopefully it's done. At this point, it should be done by the time I get back, I would think. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble too much, and I'm really not going to show a lot. I need to, uh, I need a boogie. We'll probably see you up there in Fort Dodge. Oh, like I said, we are here in Fort Dodge. And uh, we're going to get this off our back. I thought about driving fast today to get over here and I was like, you know what, screw it, it's not worth it. It's not gonna get me that far ahead. Not today. I was watching my fuel or my, my boost gauge this morning. I, I'm sure I got good fuel economy this morning. And I'm probably am right now too. I don't wanna ruin that. <clears throat> So we're just gonna we're gonna play it safe. Now I got new good news earlier. I don't know if I told you this yet. Uh, we're doing Spencer tomorrow. I guess I did tell you that. Ain't a better one we could be doing. Ain't a better one. All right, we're gonna nose in here, and we are gonna see how fast we can get this offer back get out of here well we're done uh, it took about 45 minutes uh, I was hoping they would be faster than that but they had three forklifts unloading me at least one of them was brand new 
And I mean the driver, not the actual forklift. <laughs> so, a little slower than I wanted it to be. And I'm going to be getting back a little later than I wanted to be. But. It is what it is. We are going to. We're going to go probably. We're probably going to go to Story City and we're going to fill up. And I'm going to eat supper. From there. And then go home. Um, and they're not going to worry about me because, what is it, 5.30 now? It's going to be, if I was going straight to the yard, it would be 6.30-ish, maybe a little later when I got there. So it'll be almost 7 o'clock when I get to the yard. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it's not going to be as late as I think, but we were talking about it. This is the type of scenario where it would be really nice to just grab that Spencer and head west. Because my my kids are going to be my kids are going to be in bed by the time I get home today. So I would like to see my wife, but I think I think if I was going to like when I get back from camp. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna deliver it, go all the way up to Spencer, and I'm gonna FaceTime my wife and talk to her for a while, and you know that sort of idea. For one or two nights a week, I could do that. I gotta, I gotta make up ground. Um, I, I've talked about, you know, I got goals for the business, but I also. With the with the um, the purchase of this house, we're I mean, you try to work in a budget as much as much as you can, but there's money going everywhere, is what I'm saying. I I need to spend a little extra time making money because nobody's going to do it for me. It's up to me to make the difference. Pray and ask for blessing, but I did, I mean, he's the one that gives us the ability to work. But there's a bit of work involved. Sometimes you just gotta do it. The whole pick yourself up by the book bootstrap. Yeah, you just gotta have to work hard sometimes. Sometimes you gotta work all the, hard all the time, but you know what I'm saying. Hemorrhaging money? Well, somebody's gotta fix that problem and meet the meet the uh, expenditures with income. <clears throat> so here we go. <laughs> uh, well, I need to spend a split second here and check the fuel prices. And uh, then get my phone out of my hand. I'm speeding way up right now. Why? Because I want to catch up to this car. Why? Well, I think it's actually an Oldsmobile. But my first car was the exact same color as this. And it was a Buick with Sabre. And <laughs> uh, you can see the headliner flapping in the breeze. Yeah, mine did that too. Yeah, it's a Buick, or this is an Oldsmobile, but that's, man, it takes me back. Should I stop him and see if I can drive it? Oh, yeah, I like it, I like it. I don't know what this red car is doing up here. Come on, Mr. Minivan, what are you doing?
let's get in here. Oh, I would really like to get in and out of here quickly. We're gonna go over to this one because it's easier. Go in the out. Yep, my first car was a Buick, old or a Buick with Saber, 1988. It was burgundy like that, the burgundy interior. Got it for 200, 400, somewhere in there. Very cheap. I think it was 200 bucks. Did I get it? I got it. First try. Oh. Probably should hurry up so I don't miss this. Because that would be a bad day. Okay, so actually, you know what? I need to let you go for a second so I can check a few things. <clears throat> I have to decide if I'm going to oblige them today. Let's see if I can show you why I don't like this trailer. Let's see if we can see it. The back way up here. Does that look like everything's about to fall off to you? It does to me. I don't know. I might have to climb up there to see what they actually did. Like, how is that so, so uneven? Are they just... Well, I'm not going to say that because that's actually what I think, but let's take a look. I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to climb up there and walk around and see what it's all sitting on and make sure it's actually solid. Are any of these, any of these straps solid? Okay. So some of these straps are already solid. So that makes me feel a little better. But I'm gonna go up there. I get up here and it's really actually okay. It just looks sketchy. I don't know, it's very solid. Like this is this is a two by eight and it's flat. So I really don't know why it looks like it's leaning like that. It's not going anywhere. It's not on anything, anything weak. Uh, this rebar and, and LVL has direct straps on on this side and the far side and right here so it's strapped I mean it could use more but it's we're gonna go with it I don't know I just it just looks weird to me you guys probably think the same thing but uh Tighten her down. Yeah. Definitely not taking 20 across tomorrow. Definitely gonna take two lane because that looks sketchy. It's not, but it looks like it. You know how I feel about putting a target on my back. We are hauling out of here. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. I would like to go home. So that's what we're going to do. Just looking at some of these trailers and they're very low to the ground. But I didn't have to try to pick them up. Make sure we're not going to pop a tire. Let's see what we weigh, and then we'll close out this video. Are we all the way on? I'm gonna wait until it comes back around again. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm probably gonna have to push this one through though. Let's 
75. Even. That's not bad. Thanks for watching today, guys. It was a little bit of a weird one. I should stop saying that. They're weird ones every day. And I do basic stuff every day. But I appreciate those of you guys who keep coming back. And like I said at the beginning, let me know down in the comments if you're one of my guys who come back for every single video. I would like to know so I can say thank you. So comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.